This, my friends, is the Darlington Shelter, where I'm staying in before I start my trek on the Tuscarora. And this is a Tuesday night. I'm cold. All right, after a night in a noisy shelter because of the rain and a lot of mattress pads sloshing around, it's about 6 a.m. and I'm starting at the northern terminus of the Tuscarora Trail. And it goes that way. And the goal for day one is the uh, Charles Charlie Irvin Shelter, 12.9 miles to go. All right, hi ho off we go. This is July or June 8th. And it's a Wednesday. You can already tell the difference in the trail conditions off the AT. So my trail is a lot thinner. Just wondering how many of these I will see. This is not even the first mile. So far, past Dean's Gap, towards Stairs Gap, just kind of a walk in the woods. And this, my friends, is how you get soaking wet boots. It's there it's gap. Busy, busy highway. I have got to walk along all of this traffic. Terrible. Yeah, walking along 34 is no pleasure. Very dangerous, but finally off the road. Well, that's a welcome sign. Hikers welcome. It's good to know. Now that I got out of the road walk. Yes, this is the trail, but I'm thankful that it's mowed. Up here we go. Well, folks, it was plowed. Now this. Well, the object is just keep going up the power line to the top, and you'll come to this. Conditions are bad. All right, here's a view. I think it's looking south, and boy, the trail has gotten rocky. Here we are in Long's Gap, four miles from camp. Haven't filmed much because it's been just a long walk in the woods and no water. Little side trail down to a view. It was worth it. Trust me, nothing special about entering this site because it's nothing but rocks. I've been walking on a rock field for a little bit now. Three miles to the road. Here, folks, you be the judge. You tell me where there's a trail in this stuff. Help me out here. After nine and a half hours of hiking, only 13 miles, this is the Charles Irvin Shelter. I met the gentleman back when I first started the Appalachian Trail, my very first hike. He was fixing a bridge on Falls Creek. I am now here, and I'm going to put up the hammock, and I think I have it to myself for the night. This is a look off the front porch. I also wanted to tell you that while in the wildlife area, I did chase out a bear. So I got to see my bear already on the Tuscarora Trail. And home for the night. All right, this is my buddy Noah. Going to join me for the sections two, three, and four. And Noah and we have got the fire going tonight. This is June the 5th, 2023. I bucked out last year with a knee injury, and so I'm restarting. And finishing two, three, and four. Enjoy the ride, or at least the walk. All right, we're on day two on this video of our section hike, and it's just rocks. We're about maybe two tenths of a mile from the shelter. And this is your trail. All right, we are on a nicer path. A lot of little hunting shacks up ahead. Not doing a lot of taping because this is your conditions most of the way. This was actually a pretty decent spot right here. Sometimes you're just walking through the branches. Pretty rough shape up here. All right, we finally reached a road after what, 3.1? All right, that's Noah, by the way. You know Noah from past videos. Now for a nice reprieve. We're about three miles into the hike. Right, so we make the, the doubling gap switch. Now we're going up the hill. When they said the next two miles would be very rocky, they are not kidding. It 
And down here below Barry's Gap, the trail gets really pretty and easy. All right, we're in Wildcat Hollow. I hear running water to my right, and we're about less than two miles to Flat Rock. Now we're deep in Wild Wildcat Hollow, on the way up to Flat Rock. The climb up to Flat Rock Vista is brutal, but pretty. All right, we've reached the Vista at Flat Rock, and it's expansive. All right, finally got here, and he got here like 20 minutes before I did, because he's young. Here's some nifty boardwalk, boardwalk work. As we're getting closer to our shelter, we're still on the Flat Rock Trail. All right, tonight is the Wagon Wheel Shelter, which is pretty darn close to Colonel Danny State Park. Uh, long day, it was, it was only 10.8 miles, but it was brutal with all the rocks. Tomorrow's longest day, 15 too. We're going to do a fire tonight, obviously. Sleepyhead friends, this is Sleepyhead. It's Tuesday morning, June the 6th, my youngest son's 24th birthday, and I'm out on the trail, of course. Good night's sleep at the Wagon Wheel Shelter last night. I'm heading out alone to go to Fowler's Hollow. For a while, Noah's sleeping and he'll catch up because he's a superhuman being, so enjoy the ride. Okay, when you come down to 233, turn right and you'll immediately turn left. And now, welcome to my dreaded kind of walk. But at least it's easy on the feet. It's safe to say, when they're trying to keep people out, they're trying to keep people out. It's like this the whole way down through here. I kind of find it fascinating. We got at least to be 1,500 feet up, and now there's a stone wall up at the top of the ridge. All right, up here in the state forest lands, the trail's been relatively easy in comparison to the Tuscan other places. Just kind of straight along on the ridge top. Enjoyable walking and make up time up here. As you can tell, after the Bill Miller Trail, it's gotten a lot rockier again. Welcome back, Tuscarora Trail. And always be sure to sign the trail registers. Helps them know that people are out on the trail. And finally, we get to come down into some hemlock groves. This stretch of a level trail along Cowpen Road is just simply gorgeous. It'd be worth a trip just to walk a little mile in this little section, especially with the laurel out. All right, reaching Cowpen Road, with the trail being either downward or flat, they were going three mile an hour. So I'm ahead of schedule. My buddy Noah is still not caught up with six miles to go. All right, this is the bridge over Law Run. As I'm huffing and puffing, coming out of Law Run, it's steep, very steep. Now we're doing some road walking, and that's a fake step. The guy went straight up the mountain without breathing. No. All right, close. To find the Tuscarora Trail, steep and rocky in many places. 
we just came down that. This is the bridge over Schaeffler, Schaeffler Run, and now the Climb Emerson Ridge. This ought to be a killer. This is what it's like having to go down Amberson Ridge. This is worse than a roller coaster in Virginia on the AT. Just looking back up. All right, we're down along Holler, Fowler's Hollow. Got done with the descent, we decided just to camp. Here he is at fire start. We'll put our, our uh, hammocks up and call it a night. He's in the cold water. All right, here's the Noah boy, and he is doing laundry. Anything you want to say? He's doing my laundry. He's doing his laundry. All right, we're camping two tenths of a mile away from the Fowler Hollow Shelter. We found this open camp area, and we're right along the stream. Comfortable, but all we have to do is go to bed now. It's about 8 o'clock, June the 6th. All right, good morning, it's June 7th, finishing up this trek, heading up Rising Mountain. Fowler Hollow Shelter, oldest shelter on the Tuscarora Trail. We didn't stay in it last night, we stayed by the stream. As you still wonder about the conditions, still no floorboards. All right, we're gonna head that way. Kind of interesting, these little bridges that aren't really helping you because they don't have a good place to cross. That's the Perry Company Trail or whatever. It's a railroad line. We're heading up Rising Mountain. This is not the steep spot, but this is what it looks like going up Rising. Rocky. I will say this is really nice that they did rock steps on the way down the Hemlock Road. Much appreciated, PATC. All right, we're getting near the Hemlock's natural area, but in the natural area, all the Hemlock's are dead. At least here they're still thriving. Now, as you might tell, we're following along the road, the Hemlock Road. After coming out of the Hemlocks, you do this for a while. This is awesome PATC. They have really trimmed this up. Last time I was through, I had to walk through a lot of briars. Hopefully it stays this way. Welcome, welcome to Ridgetop Walking in Pennsylvania. <sighs> Trucking along on the ridge, hazy day for a view. But yeah, I am hanging with Noah. Moving right along. Moving right along. The other part of ridge walking, you know, lots of briars. At least this open area is a little open. Not the good to be hiking in shorts up here. Good perspective trail conditions, but I like the wild rose here on the side. And yes, the trail does calm down. We're about three miles to six, whatever the route is. Just to keep you honest, more rocks. In between the rocks, you do get this. We're about right head down. And coming down, some of these leaf pits are probably close to three feet deep. So once in a while, you'll put your foot right down, almost to the 641. And now begins the road walk, one mile road walk to 75 where we have a vehicle waiting okay we're heading down sheer road seven tenths of a mile and we'll be at the car with a standard look 